Hello, my friends, and welcome to this new episode of the Longsword Beginner's Guide. Today, we are going to learn how to probe, gather information, and program the opponent, hopefully without getting stabbed in the process. Without further chats, let's start. Okay, so the first method we start to analyze happens in the bind. This method is more useful to stimulate a basic offensive reaction in the opponent, but it may also be used to learn some of his patterns with proper measure management. While binding with the opponent we gain some degrees, moving his tip away from the center line. This will probably lead him to leave the bind with an action. He may go for an attack or simply change the bind or beat aside our sword or feint. He can do everything we have learned so far, basically. In this specific case, I noticed that Fabrizio tends to react with an attack from the bind, generally a fendente or a thrust. If you are gathering informations, remember that you have to move backward as fast as possible after stimulating the opponent. This is crucial, so keep it in mind. So now I decided to exploit the reaction that I have learned. So I stimulate Fabrizio's reaction, he strikes, I parry and repost on his attack. While doing so, I move backward as much as needed, based on what I observed before. The second way to gather information is through the feint. This is the main tool we can use to learn something from our opponent. I'm going to show you two methods for now. Feints in the bind and feints out of the bind. While feinting in the bind, we want of course to learn the defensive-offensive schemes of our opponent. Is he going for a parry or a counter on temp? In which fashion? If he parries, is his parry instantly followed by a riposte or not? By learning these informations, we can develop a plan to engage our opponent. It is crucial, while working out this process, to act in a realistic way with our feint, while at the same time keeping a safety distance from the opponent. If you get too close to your opponent while doing so, you may end up being caught unprepared by his offensive reaction. Here again I use the informations I gathered. I noticed that Fabrizio prefers to answer in the bind after pairing my feint, so I decided to keep playing in the bind too. I step backward to let his thrust lose impetus, and then I thrust in the bind myself, using my superior reach to get him. The second feint we are going to analyze is the one out of the bind. We can feint a cut or a thrust. While feinting the thrust, I regularly act in a way to simulate the first part of the action, while for the cut I prefer to land the entire motion, or almost, while keeping myself at a safe distance. I aim toward the opponent and I try to make the action believable enough, but in reality I am not thinking about hitting anything. I just let the motion go, to see what it will happen. Again, after understanding his defensive-offensive pattern, I stimulate Fabrizio's reaction, and then I go for my counter, a parry and riposte. Of course, gathering information is also useful to land proper feint and attack actions. So, if we find the proper situation, for example, an opponent that goes for the parry without a riposte, in a certain specific quadrant, we can land our feint and attack in a more reliable way. Very well, we gave a look to some probing and programming actions. These actions are extremely important to evolve your fencing, make it safer on the long run. Remember that here I show you a very idealized situation. In reality, you will have to hide your information gathering process but we will talk about this complex topic in the very last episode of this series. In the next episode of the Longsword Beginner's Guide, we will learn a series of new beating actions. Thanks for watching people, and uh, as always, see you next time.